If you're a Windows 11 user, Microsoft Edge is one of the fastest and the most slick browsers that you can use on the system. And if you ask me, it's even better than Google Chrome. But it's not perfect. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Android Technology and this video we're talking about what you can do if Edge starts not responding on your system. Well, the first thing that you're going to have to do is edit proxy settings. Now, proxy settings seem like a simple thing to get your internet speeds up, but they're actually a lot more complicated than that. So it's best if you don't change them if you don't know what you're doing. All you have to do is press the Windows key and search for proxy settings. The option will appear right up there. Click on it. Windows settings will open and for the love of God, just make sure that the automatically direct settings slider is turned on. Windows will almost always do a better job of finding whatever settings you need to work than you as long as you don't know what you're doing. If you're a network specialist and you know what proxy settings to use and whatnot, by all means, knock yourself out. But incorrect proxy settings can cause Edge to crash or not respond. So just get the slider on if you feel like Edge is experiencing problems on your system. The next step is to repair Microsoft Edge, which is a rather obvious fix. So you do this by pressing Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and then heading over to installed apps. We'll give Windows a second to load up the entire list. Now I'm just going to search for Edge here. And oh wow, it went away. Yes, so I have Edge, Edge Update, Edge Web View to Runtime. I don't need these two, I only need Edge. So go all the way to the right, click on More Options, and then click Modify. Windows will ask you some permissions, so give it that. And then the next box appears is Repair Microsoft Edge. Uh, it requires an internet connection and it will reinstall the browser, but it will not affect any of your browsing data, so you can go ahead and safely do it. If you're experiencing any problems with edge this does take like five to ten minutes to run though so just make sure you don't do it in the middle of your work day when you really need the browser next up uh, you should really check the extensions that you're using on your browser so if i were to open up edge here go ahead and click on the extensions icon and then click on manage extensions you will see that i have a lot of extensions in here but not all extensions you download and you use will play ball with all of your websites and sometimes with the browser itself. So the best thing that you can do is you can go ahead and uh, disable all of these sliders for every extension. So IP Royal, iDropper, just disable all of them and continue using your browser as usual. If you don't see any errors, start enabling them one at a time. So I will enable momentum. Um, I'll enable my ad blocker, dark reader. This is an essential extension to me. And then eyedropper. And then once you start enabling extensions and you run into the problem again, the last extension that you enabled is the one that's causing problems. So either uninstall it or get an alternative from either the Edge add-on store or the Chrome extension store. It's all the same. Every extension runs everywhere as long as the browser is based on Chromium. The next thing you can try is resetting the browser from within Edge itself. This is of course if you can get the browser to open at all. Now to do this, just go ahead and click on settings and more option right next to this Copilot button and go all the way down to settings. Now uh, in here we've got a bunch of options. If you go to Microsoft about Microsoft Edge, you will also see the update option right here. But we're going to look for reset the browser. So let's quickly search for reset. And as soon as you do that, you will see restore settings to their default values. Go ahead and click reset. It will also turn off all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. So you're going to have to log into a bunch of sites again. But for the effect that it has on your browser and especially if you are not able to use it, it's a really simple solution to a rather complicated problem. Finally, if you haven't checked it yet, it's always a good idea to make sure that your browser is up to date. Now to do this, uh, once again, we head over to the settings menu, 
and click on settings on the other side you will see about microsoft edge right here so go ahead and click on that and this will automatically start checking for updates as you can see i have one update that just got installed and so i need to restart my browser so edge will almost always automatically check for updates and have them ready for you sometimes you just might need to go to this menu and install them and of course updating your browser means getting any of the bug fixes or problem fixes that the developers might have pushed out so it's a really really handy way of fixing any issues that you might be experiencing if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candy.technology follow us on social media follow me on social media and we'll see you in the next video